80% of modern attacks are identity driven. Adversaries are leveraging stolen credentials. And identity threats are hard to detect because they don't involve malware or code execution. Adversaries aren't hacking in, they're logging in. Hi, I'm Mark Ivara, a senior solutions engineer here at CrowdStrike. Welcome to the latest edition of Under the Wing. Today, we're going to show you how in the CrowdStrike Falcon platform, we deliver unified identity threat protection to detect and prevent lateral movement. One of the most frequent targets for these types of attacks is within Active Directory, or AD. Poor AD hygiene can result in so many attack vectors for adversaries to exploit, such as high-risk users allowing privilege escalation, compromised passwords enabling brute force attacks, and overly permissioned accounts that can lead to lateral movement. In response, CrowdStrike recently launched a free Active Directory risk review that gives you instant visibility into your overall AD hygiene with actionable insights and recommendations, along with guidance from our very own CrowdStrike experts to help you report and reduce your overall AD attack surface. Use the link below to get started with CrowdStrike's free AD risk review. Adversaries use legitimate credentials to gain access and lurk undetected in your environment, posing as a legitimate user. And once inside, they'll seek to elevate those privileges and move laterally to more valuable assets, typically in the span of about 90 minutes. Let's take a look at how CrowdStrike's Falcon Identity Threat Protection prevents an adversary from going from initial access on an unmanaged system to moving laterally. Dimitri, over to you. Thanks, Mark. Hey everyone, my name is Dimitri Kroll and I'm a solutions engineer here at CrowdStrike. Let's walk through how CrowdStrike's identity threat protection allows you to prevent lateral movement. We'll start by reviewing this pre-created rule for anomalous authentication. Note that we are checking for baseline behavior on whether or not it is a source endpoint that the user regularly uses. Now, let's look up the user Jane Watson, who is one of our third-party suppliers that typically accesses sensitive information from an unmanaged system or one that we do not control the security software on. Falcon Identity Threat Protection has already created a baseline that says she uses endpoints WS09 and TS01. Let's say an adversary manages to obtain Jane's credentials, gained initial access into the network, and is trying to laterally move to TS100. But that's not one of Jane's usual endpoints she uses or her identity has been seen on before. So the policy would trigger a multi-factor authentication flow. If the adversary continues, the notification will actually go to Jane, who knows she's not the one who requested it. So she'll deny the request and mark it as fraudulent, and the lateral movement and login attempt gets blocked immediately. We'll go back into the console and check under the Analytics tab where we can see that we have triggered an anomalous authentication rule. Additionally, since it was a suspicious movement and may require further investigation, it also gets recorded as an identity-based incident. Here we can see that the adversary masquerading as Jane was denied access since the real Jane denied the push. Falcon Identity Threat Protection analyzes your identity landscape to build user behavioral profiles and monitors real-time authentication traffic to identify unusual user behavior or suspicious lateral movement. It enables frictionless zero-trust security with real-time threat prevention and IT policy enforcement through the use of identity, behavior, and risk analytics. And there you have it. Over to you, Mark. Identity protection is key to stopping the attacker even when they're impersonating these end users. So Dimitri, thanks for that example. If you're interested in learning more after this episode, be sure to register for a webinar on identity protection and the evolution of the modern attack defense using the link below. Now, to find out more about how the Falcon platform can protect your organization against these modern identity-driven attacks, go to CrowdStrike.com. Oh,